Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. In today's video, we're taking a look at the Alpha Bear, the Primal Lord. Now, for this one, we I'm over on Antilla from Pridewin. A massive shout out to Antilla for letting me on his account for this one, because I will be putting this video up uh, at the reset when most people who started at Global Launch will have this available. Just know this is based on your server, so everyone's going to get it at different times, but if you start a Global Launch day, you will have it now. This server that Antilla's on started a little bit before the daily reset on Global Launch, so that's why this, this account has it available. So let's go through it. First of all, we're going to look at the skills. We're going to look at some teams for people with Mythic Plus characters and people without Mythic Plus characters. So here we go. His ultimate. So the ultimate, essentially what he's going to do is he's going to make bees attack enemies that are covered in honey. And once all enemies are covered in honey, they are going to permanently attack, dealing more damage. So we can see it's 80% for three sec per second for three seconds. And then it just goes up to 250% until the end of the battle, which is pretty harsh. Now we have have his skill one which means he's going to throw honey at an enemy and this is how he's eventually going to get everyone covered in honey uh because it he throws it at a random enemy like um, i'm not sure how the targeting works but eventually he will get around to everyone uh marking them until the end of the battle and dealing a hundred percent damage but the catch is the healing received by the marked enemy is reduced by 80 percent and cannot be dispelled so healing massive reduction makes his shields more valuable um then we jump over here here we're taking this look at this one throws honey at enemies in adjacent tiles so this is enemies that are in melee range of the boss so for this reason you kind of want to have one tank in that melee range so that he does it because if there is no enemy in melee range he's going to smash the ground uh and deal 400 percent damage to all enemies so you want to avoid that so you want to have one tank in melee range to make sure he uses this attack but you don't want to run multiple melee range units so that they're not all getting the 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 coding and and you're just basically getting the swarm out faster is essentially what we're looking at this one i think this is meant to be makes and throws but a uh, a terror ball towards the enemy dealing damage uh to all enemies in spot so this is like a a, a straight line damaging type ability now we're going to jump over to pride wing quickly and take a look at their write-up and look at some options that we have and then i'll go show you some more in here in the game so you guys have some ideas of what to work with uh so here we go they go through best characters smoky um is the backbone of the team uh, smoky and mickey are the backbone of the team yes because it's two characters uh they will be able to keep your team alive with heals and support them with buffs once again healing is massively reduced for honeyed heroes but this is still a decent source of healing because we all know how much smoky and mickey do now if you do have them at mythic plus they are also going to contribute to damage which is super helpful as well then for free to plays we have coco once again coco uh giving that life steal giving the support giving the attack mitigating that damage can also be helpful in free to play situations then we look to corin now corin is one that you can experiment with even if you don't have a mythic plus normally i say corin's just trash at no mythic plus but depending on how the survival's going with your team even if you don't have a mythic plus maybe you can use him for that shielding capacity the other thing with corin is that he does have a two tile range so he's not actually a raw melee unit so he can avoid that adjacent tile attack that skill two from the boss so corin is actually a really good fit for this one especially after you have him at mythic plus then we have our damage dealing options of Odie and merrily merrily's probably better if you have the dupes but if you if you've got a mythic plus but most people are going for Odie first who is still a perfectly sufficient unit and you can use him instead now vala is an interesting one because she kind of goes against what we've said vala is one that you will only use if the boss is below 50 percent and vala has been shown to do enormous amounts of damage now yes vala below 50 percent goes into sword form and she stands in melee range but the damage that she deals exceeds the downfall of being in melee range and having a second unit in melee range so that's why she goes in there now when we look at debuffers we got rainier rainier obviously fantastic he sits at range but to do to get this effect out of rainier you do need mythic plus so this is more of a whale thing our other debuffs are thorn and we have kruger now most people have kruger at very low ascension for instance myself i'm not going to use him i don't want to use thorn and kruger in this boss because then they're both in that melee range so i'm personally only going to use thorn but if you do have a beefed up kruger then you can definitely try kruger especially if you're running things like merrily uh and stuff like that so kruger i mean kruger's a decent option if you got him high ascended but thorin's just a safe option uh anyway and if thorin does happen to die well he's going to come back it's not the end of the world now here's a look at some of their free-to-play teams i will give you guys other options in here as you can see they're running the smoky the thorin the Odie, who most people will have 
and then we have the Coco and then the Corrin. Now, in my opinion, I, I do think that subbing out Corrin for Cecilia may net more, but it just depends once again on your character's levels, on your investment and stuff like that. Maybe this does work for you. This is once again, if your Corrin is Mythic Plus, use Corrin. If your Merrily is Mythic Plus, use Merrily. They're pretty staple units. But once again, for those that don't have them there, you can try Corrin in this team. However, I do think that you can also swap that with a Cecilia if you want to. Um, this one is obviously if you have a decently built uh, Kruger, you can try and run the Kruger. Once again, this is showing with the Merrily. This is more invested team. Uh, this is one with the Mythic Plus. Uh, what's his face? Rainier. Uh, so that's going to obviously get subbed in and we're getting into some more whale territory. And this is like your execution team. Once again, running that Vala to get some some amazing damage. Massive shout out to Season. I hadn't actually scrolled down this far in, far in the article to see Season's uh, Seasons post in here, but massive shout out to Season for collaborating. Uh, Season is from Analytica, the owner of Analytica, so massive shout out. Uh, and you can see the damage here, and you can see the damage that this Odie, uh, this Smokey is putting out, which is absolutely insane. You can see Vala taking the place of that Merrily in this team, but once again, that is below 50% health. So let's jump back into the game and take a look and like i said i want to show you guys some formations that i personally will be using on my account my account's a bit later so it's not going to get in there straight away uh but for me personally i think something like this uh if we look at that and then we put the uh where is she dude does, does he even he got so, that's right Antilla got so lucky on the Euron pools and the Carolina pools in his early pools he's like nah I'm just skipping the whole Cecilia thing and I'm going straight for the Euron meta well played I think something like this is definitely going to be a viable team this is just like a real staple bossing team for free to play uh, and I think this is just going to be a great option in general uh, for free to play once again most people have these units built now once again if you don't have Thorin you're in a bit of a pinch uh, maybe you can use Antandra instead as a better tank Tank. Once again, you could use Corrin, but if you don't have a Thorin, I'm going to say you probably don't have a well-built, uh, a, a well, not Corrin, sorry, a well-built uh, Kruger. So if you don't, you know, you, like you could do this, but if your Kruger's weak, Kruger's just going to die. You could maybe try this, but once again, he's not melee, so you're going to lack that melee. So you really need a melee. And I think from that point, you're probably most people, uh, if we're looking at free-to-play options, you could try Brutus, but I just think he gets wiped as soon as he blows his shield. I think maybe Antandra is your best option. You'd have to play around. Once again, Thorin's just such a clutch unit because he has the debuffing. He's just an all-round great unit. Now... Um, and we'd probably look at something like, yeah, whatever. But uh, so Thorin, definitely. Smokey, definitely. If you don't have Smokey, it's it's going to be a bit trickier. If I didn't have Smokey, maybe you chuck that Corrin in there uh, and play with something like that, see how it goes. It's a bit tricky. But in general, I think what we're going to be seeing for the two main free-to-play teams, if I can find the characters, uh, dude, Where'd Smokey go? There he is. The the, the main free to play, provided you have these characters. Once again, I went through some options that you didn't. Uh, is going to be either something like this, or something like this, or something like this, depending on your investment into Odie and into Cecilia. Uh, that's going to be it. But I, I I predict on my account personally, because my investment, this is probably going to be something like my best team that I'm going to be able to go with. So that's what you can look at. But I'm just going to quickly set up Antilla with his team, and then we're going to go through a run and so we can actually take a look at the boss. All right, so here we are all set up with Antilla's team. Once again, we are using that Star Shard spell or whatever it's called. Yeah, that's the one uh, for the artifact. We got Smokey in the front to get his range so that he can hit the uh, the boss with his damage. Uh, we've got Thorin coming in. He's going to obviously go into the melee range. Doesn't matter. He's the tank. Linked to Merrily. Then we have our Rainier who is teleporting our Corrin and getting that effective Corrin because Corrin may, you know, d jump into melee range, get some you know, annoying effects and get that extra healing because he might need it the most. So that is what we're looking at. Well, let's jump in. Let's see what kind of score we can get over here on Antilla's account and see how we go. So as you can see, we do the teleport. Corrin, super clutch because he does have, once again, that two tile range, which is fantastic. But then he also has the smart shielding. When you compare this to something like Lucius, where Lucius needs to wait for his ult, Corrin is always actively doing it on the character that needs it the most. Doesn't matter where they are. Doesn't matter if Merrily is moving around. So it is quite reliable. 
reliable. But then once again, he does have that enormous damage capacity uh, on top of that once he does get to that Mythic Plus. So now you can see there is the blue flames coming out from uh, the Smokey. We got that damage capacity. Now Smokey is down, Rainier is down. And once again, we're, we're getting into massive damage territory where we are starting to get sniped on our units. Now, maybe going a bit more survival could be more beneficial here. But once you get that permanent um, swarm coming, it does become a lot of damage incoming. Let's see how we went over here. He ended up rank six, which is actually really decent for him on this server. Uh, obviously, people may still be waiting to use attacks. But in general, that is a pretty good uh, score. And once again, a pretty solid team. And if we go here, you can see Corrin actually out damaging everyone else. Smokey dying super early. But once again, Smokey's little burst damage of when he does deal damage, it does a ton. But that is going to be it for this one, guys. That is the Alpha Bear. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. Um, but like I said, free to play, I think is going to be still sticking to the pretty staple free to play teams that we've been looking at for most bosses with those core units. And, you know, for this whale slash end game side, you're pretty much looking at the staple units we've been looking at for all the bosses. It's pretty set with only a few variances in each boss. And that is what we're looking at. Once again, don't forget in lower than 50%, if you've got a good Vala, she can absolutely shred. So that is going to be for this one, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.